Welcome to today's video. Today, David and I are boating around Bolt Castle. And uh, this is probably gonna be a fairly short video, but uh, we're going to point out uh, maybe what we can see that stands out uh, as we tour around the island about Bolt Castle. And I'll also be uh, reading from Wikipedia um, the information that uh, is displayed uh, dis describing Bolt Castle. So we're going to get started. And what you're seeing here is, uh, this is a, like a docking area for large tourist boats. Boating captain today is David, you all know David by now. David's my husband. He is taking us uh, all around the island. So uh, according to uh, Google, I'm looking at the history of Bolt Castle. And it says at the time, um, sorry, at the turn of the century, George Bolt uh, was a millionaire proprietor of the world famous Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York City. Uh, he set out to build a full-size castle in Alexandria Bay. It's on, a, on picturesque Hart Island, and the structure was to be a display of his love for his wife, Louise. Uh, so, in beginning uh, in 1900, the Bolt family spent summers in the Thousand Islands at the Bolt family's Wellesley House near Mr. Bolt's Wellesley Island Farms, while 300 workers, including stonemasons, carpenters, and artists, fashioned the 120-room castle, complete with tunnels, a powerhouse, in Italian gardens, and drawbridge, Ulster Tower, which is a children's playhouse, and uh, it also continues to say here that not a single detail or expense was spared. In January 1904, tragedy struck. Bolt telegraphed the island and commanded the workers to immediately stop all construction. His wife, Louise, had died suddenly. A broken-hearted Bolt could not imagine his dream castle without his beloved. Bolt never returned to the island, leaving behind the structure as a monument of his love. What I'm pointing at here is um, there are some uh, right on top of the gate or uh, that archway you can see it's called the entry arch and there are uh, figures of it looks like wildlife like deer um, it's really hard to see I realize but uh, that's what I'm pointing out here is the Ulster tower is often referred to as the playhouse So the Ulster Tower was completed in 1999 um, and it is said to be the most architecturally unique structure on Hart Island. It has a two-lane bowling alley, kitchen, billiard room, Venetian room library, shell room and theatre. And George Bolt wanted to create the ideal atmosphere for recreational activities.
what we see right here is the powerhouse and the clock tower located on the eastern end of Hart Island. It was designed in the fashion of a medieval tower. So for 73 years, the castle and various stone structures were left to the mercy of the wind, rain, ice, snow, and vandals. When the Thousand Islands Bridge Authority acquired the property in 1977, it was decided that through the use of all net revenues from the castle operation, it would be preserved for the enjoyment of future generations. Since 1977, several million dollars have been paid to rehabilitating restoring and improving the Heart Island structures. Yachts and enormous houseboat were housed in the slips 128 feet long. Towering bay doors on the decorative facade provided access to the river. The building, rising 64 feet, also featured a shop to build racing launches and quarters for the crew and staff. Nice if you can do that. of the old castle thank you very much for joining us and thank you to my husband David for steering us in the boat safely and uh, I hope to see you guys in my next video this is boomer girl walking signing off <laughs>